Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Marguerite for any of you who are new. And today is going to be a fun, 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 fun little eyeshadow tutorial because I just found out that I'm having a girl. I'm having a baby girl after two boys. I'm finally having a girl, so I'm very excited. And I thought I would make this video super festive and super girly just to show my excitement. But I'm actually about to film, I'm filming this look before I do my gender reveal, even though it will have already been posted by the time I post this. So I thought, I thought I'm gonna make it just extra glittery, extra pink and fun and beautiful. And I thought this could also be a really fun idea for a baby shower. If any of you are having a baby girl, you could wear your makeup like this to your baby girl baby shower even though this is a little extra just because I'm gonna use glitter and kind of a lot of steps going on but if you're looking for like a really fun festive pink glittery eyeshadow look for your baby shower then this is for you let's get started so big mama already primed her eyes I just use concealer but you can go in with your eyeshadow primer and this is also something new i'm going to do i've never done this before i'm going to put lipstick a pink lipstick on my eye lid as a base if you have a cream eyeshadow that's what this is equivalent to but i was just watching raw beauty christie's makeup tutorial of her recreating one of jacqueline hill's makeup tutorials and she said use a cream eyeshadow base or even a lipstick. She used a red one, but I'm using pink because this looks gonna be very pink, but it will just help enhance your following shadows. Just help them look more pigmented, show up a little better. So this is just taking my brush on the tip of the, the lipstick. This is by Wet n Wild in the color Wine Room. Oh, so this is gonna be more like a deep reddish pink which is fine and we're gonna blend it out with lots of shadow. So I know this might look weird, but I've never tried this before. So that video just prompted me and encouraged me to get out of my comfort zone. And I'm gonna try some new steps today that were in that video, that Raw Beauty Christie and Jaclyn Hill video. So that will just make this extra beautiful and glittery and stunning. Okay, I think this is good enough. So, you know, once you have your cream base down, now it's time to go in and blend out the edges with eyeshadow. So I'm going to be taking the new, new for me, Dose of Colors Blushing Berries palette. So pretty. I've been wanting to use this, so I thought it'd be perfect for this look. But um, I'm gonna first start out with this very light shade. I'm gonna take my Dose of Colors a blending brush too. I'm just gonna go down the line a little. I'm gonna start out with this light shade and go around the edges. Oh yeah, that softens it beautifully. And this is just gonna ombre the colors, but most importantly, soften the edges. So I'm starting on the outer part of my eye and in circular motions, I go up and around, just over the edges, blending it upward you know, up to, towards my eyebrow. We're really having fun with this today, so don't be afraid, don't be scared. We are in this together, y'all. Okay, now I'm gonna take the starker color. Like I said, I'm just going down the line. And same thing, I'm just intensifying the outer part of my eye now. I'm mainly concentrating this on the outer part of my eye. And this is more like a C shape rather than that horizontal V I like doing. So I'm just going backward and forward, backward circular motions and forward circular motions, just bringing this around the perimeter of that. See how that really intensified that? And I'm not really worrying about the center of my lid. I'm gonna be going in with glitter and even concealer before that. So don't worry about blending this onto your lid. Now I'm gonna take this pretty color and same thing. Okay, and that's where I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna go into this really dark eggplant color. It might even be like a brown or uh, the black yet. I don't know if I will. But now we're gonna to go towards the center of the lid. So I'm gonna take concealer. This is just Master Conceal by Maybelline. Apply a little on the back of my hand. 
And then I'm gonna take a really flat brush. This is the Morphe R42. So this Bare Minerals that I thought about using, but that's a little bigger. See how this is small? It can get perfectly on the lid. It's just a flat brush and a little pointed. So dip it into that concealer. And then I'm going to start at the center of my eye and apply this on top of the lid. I don't wanna go over that shadow too much. This is just gonna clean it up a little and help the glitter to stick better and create more of a cut crease as well. So you don't wanna go above your crease. I'm stopping about three fourths of the way. Yeah, that's perfect. It might look a little messy, but um, the glitter will help clean that up. Same thing on the other eye. got a little farther than I'd like, so I'm just taking whatever's remainder on this brush, cleaning it up. Same with that, that was pretty easy. Okay, now for the fun, 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 fun part, I'm taking this glitter. This is by Stila, the Magnificent Metals Metallic Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the color Kitten Karma. And you can go straight, with, straight in with the wand. You could um, even apply it onto that same brush. I might do it just because this brush is smaller and more compact whereas that this is just a little bigger and messier so i feel like i can get into the center of my eye better and this won't be as messy but i'm just going over directly over the um concealer And whatever's left, I'm just gently running along my lower lash line. Just the tiniest amount. So I applied about three layers of that just to really build that up. And I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then go back in with this brush with the leftover residue and just kind of clean it up a little. So give me a minute. Alrighty, so now I'm going to take the same brush that I used to apply the pink eyeshadow. I didn't dip this in any more, but I'm just using this to just kind of clean up the end. And I'm going over the glitter just on the very end just to help that blend in a little more naturally and look like it just kind of fades in to the shadow and it will kind of close it in as well so the glitter doesn't look like it's too far over there yeah that really I think that really did help like can you see a difference how that it looks like that is over the shadow whereas this it just kind of blends more naturally and I'm gonna run this just in the outer part of my lower lash line. Okay, so same thing on this eye. Now I'm gonna apply a little liquid liner just to the top, because I'm gonna apply false lashes. I haven't done that in a while and it will help the false lashes blend in just a little more naturally. So just take any black liquid liner you have and just try to keep it as close to your lashes as you can, and that will just help the band from the false lashes blend in a little more naturally. I just feel naked if I don't have liner on. It just helps my eyes, <laughs> helps enhance my eyes and makes them look a little bigger, but I definitely don't want too intense. You know, I want the um, false lashes to cover it, but it'll just help, it'll just help the false lashes blend in a little more naturally, like I said. All right, I don't think those wings are even. 
but usually, usually my false lashes hide it anyways. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply these Ardell Demi Wispies. And I have a video if you would like to see how exactly how to apply these. I'm gonna link it. It's gonna pop up right in this corner. And you can click that if you would like to see it because I'm just gonna fast forward this. It's about a 10 minute process, 10 minutes or less. So yeah, feel free to check out that video if you would like to see how I apply my false lashes. All right, I'm back. I got the false eyelashes on and I hate a burrito, but I guess you don't need to know that. <gasps> but like I said, you can't even see the liquid liner. It just kind of adds a nice little extra dimension, especially if you are bad at applying false lashes like we all are. The eyeliner can take away from that. It can cover up the band and you don't have to see that you glued your, you have to see exactly where you glued your false lashes. So now you better believe I'm going to apply some mascara because that will blend the false lashes in with your real lashes and I especially need it for my bottom lashes mainly I usually just do a little coat I mean these are just disposable false lashes so I'm not ruining them I'm just throwing these away anyways because they're the drugstore ones but it just kind of fluffs them up perks them up a little and makes them look a little better I think when you apply mascara so apply some mascara Oh, I also added a white eyeliner to my inner lower waterline. It's just something I've been liking to do lately. I feel like the white bounces off the white of your eyes and just helps your eyes look whiter. <laughs> you know, if you're tired, it's a good trick. You can also use beige or cream, which is a lot more natural. You know, white definitely stands out a little. So if that bothers you, then you can apply a cream or a nude and that will do the same just kind of opens your eyes a little Alrighty, now all that's left is the lip Make sure i don't have food in my teeth i'm going to complete this look with the beautiful pink lip of course so i have the stila stay all day liquid lipstick one of my favorite formulas if you haven't tried their liquid lipsticks they're really good and this is in the color angelo a beautiful light nude pink and I'm gonna put a little gloss over it. Oh, smells like cake. Vanilla cake, that is my favorite. Okay, so that dried. Now I'm going to apply the Charlotte Tilbury gloss over it. Oh, there's no color. The color dropped off. OTC. I remember this has some like odd name but it's just like a, a really pretty peachy golden nude shimmer gloss. So I'm just applying it on top. Paint your nails pink too. That could be nice. Add some pink earrings and you are done. So here's the final look for eyeshadow. I think it turned out so pretty. It's not too intense, it's still pink. I think it's great for a little baby shower if you have it. Heck, I wish I was having a baby shower, but I already had one four years ago with my son. I don't know if you are allowed to do two baby showers. Hey. Alrighty, so this completes my pink glitter eyeshadow makeup look. This is perfect for a girl baby shower or if you're going to one. Hey, why not? Baby showers are an exciting time. There is no excuse for you to not get all festive and fancy, you know, put on your best pink outfit. I got my pink shirt right now with the little opening in the back. Make sure you got your bump. That might be, oh, that might be important, an important key. Oh, my belly's falling out, but that might be an important key to the baby shower too. So make sure you got your bump. <laughs> you know, if you need a dress suggestion, you know what, let me show you a cute dress I found. I got this before I even knew I was having a girl because I was just desperately hoping I was having a girl. And odds were in my favor that day. So I got this from, uh, oh, Boohoo. Good old Boohoo. I don't know if you've checked out their site. They're like one of those Instagram super cheap sites. I don't even know where they're from. This dress was like $10, but it's a lot of fabric. Let me try it on for you. It's over the shoulder ruffle. So cute, light pink. Um, this is a size eight. I believe this is maternity. It says Boohoo Night. No, yeah, maternity Lauren ruffle 
off the shoulder dress. So let me try this on for you. This could be a great baby shower option for you guys to wear if you're looking for it. <laughs> All right, I got it on. I got a couple things to point out, by the way. Oi, let me move that chair so I can stand back. All right, well, one, here is the dress. It's really stretchy, really soft. I don't know what material. Um, I'll look up the material in a minute. But I got a couple things to point out. Number one, you're gonna want your maternity Spanx with this. <laughs> I highly suggest it. This is my third pregnancy and they are great. Or you could even get like a bigger size in Spanx, but they really help smooth out extra lumps you got going on. And especially for me, my belly button went from an innie to an outie, never went back. They say it goes back to normal. I didn't go back, but it looks like I got a third nipple right now. Yep, it does. So um, I usually put a band-aids band over it to hide it down, or you can get maternity spanks and that'll take care of that. But that will just help suck you in, help you feel a little better. It also perks up your belly, which is a good tip. And uh, I'm all about tips. But anyways, I'm definitely gonna need my self-tanner with this dress. Of course, pregnancy safe. I really like the, um, uh, what is the brand? I'm literally forgetting everything while pregnant. Vita, Vita Liberata, but Sephora carries it and it's like all organic and healthy. And they have a great body blur. So it's actually not a, a self-tanner. It literally wipes off. It's like makeup, but it blurs out weird spider veins, varicose veins, which I got while pregnant. It's great to just instantly put on if you don't have time for a spray tan, which I don't really like spray tans. They make me look orange. So, you know, I would put that on my arms and my chest or whatever. But anyways, I think this is a really cute dress. They also have it in blue and a like really pretty light blue. So if you are pregnant with a boy, that'd be another cute option. But I think like the ruffle, the off the shoulder ruffle is too cute. I don't have a bra on right now, so I hope you can't see anything. <laughs> but yeah, you know, curl your hair and just glam up for the day and feel good about yourself, girl. Ooh, make sure to put on heels though. You don't want socks. Make sure to shave your legs. <laughs> but yeah, those are just my tips. So thank you guys for watching. What do you think? I think this just makes me feel like a senorita for the day. So yeah, this is just my maternity uh, bridal, not bridal, oh, baby shower, girl baby shower dress option. Let me know if you want more options. I'd be happy to shop for you. Oh, I'm out of breath. I tell you, changing and trying on clothes is exhausting. Ooh, okay, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Goodbye.